Hey YouTube, I was just coming on here today to share with you I went and purchased online my first half wig. So if you'd like to see what I purchased, stay tuned. I did a lot of research online how to do half wigs and things like that because I'm a newbie. I have never done this before. I've never used a half wig, a full wig, a lace front. I've never had hair weave installed. I've ne I have done extension braids on my hair myself before, but other than that, I'm pretty new to hair. <laughs> other than drawstring ponytails, I have a few of those, but I stopped using them once I started to use henna. I decided to help me with some protective styling. Like right now, I'm doing a bun, but I kind of wanted to play around with half wigs and see how that goes. So I could just leave my hair braided underneath. This is the half wig. It just came in a box like this. There was no extra like packaging on the inside like bubble wrap or anything like that. Um, it just came inside of this little plastic type sleeve. It is by Otre. And it's called Quick Weave, which is what they call all their half wigs. Um, this one is Tisha. So that's the style of it and it's in 1B and partly why I'm doing this video is to show you that the actual piece itself, the texture of the hair on the picture does not look anything like the actual texture. Like if you can see that it kind of looks like braid out type crimped hair. And so I wanted to do this video just to show you how it actually looks out of the package. So I have played with it a little bit, but I've just been keeping it in here for right now because I don't have like a wig head or anything like that. Um, so it comes with the little tag. And then on the inside, it does have like some instructions on how to place it. And then there are some little washing instructions in here. So it kind of gives you, helps you to get started, I guess. But there are lots of tutorials on how to put it on on YouTube and that's what I did so you just kind of take it out of this and then there's this netting that comes around it so I'm just gonna take the netting off of it um, like I said I was playing with it so if it looks a little bit fuzzy already that's why this is it right out of the package so I'm just doing this shot to kind of just show you the curl pattern. So you see how you've got a lot more spirals. It doesn't really look like a braid out like in the picture. It's a half cap. Here's the inside. And on the front part, there's a pretty long comb. You can see that. And then down here, there's another long comb. Well, it's not as long as the front comb. You can see that one. Then there's the adjustable straps. It is very soft. I do like that about it. So it's a nice soft texture. When I put it on, it was not itchy on my neck and it hits me like right around here, around shoulder length. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to um, take my hair down and show you how I play with it. I'll be right back. Okay, so when I did this bun, I slicked my hair down in the front using Eco Styler Gel. So you can see that I, when I brushed it down, it's a pretty smooth finish when it dries. And I noticed that this actually makes for a nice front when I do the half wig. So I'll show you what I mean in a second. So I'm just going to take my hair down. Okay, so now I think what I'm going to do is just kind of finger part my hair. Because um, I just want to do this for demonstration. But um, when I actually go to wear it, I think I am probably going to braid my hair down underneath.
So this right here is going to be my leave out. I just parted down in front with my bangs here and from ear to ear. And then I've just got these two little buns for right now, but like I said, I would probably braid it. I also purchased this. It's a stocking with cat. Oh, this is how they come. It's like nylon. I mean, and then this is like the stretched out. It doesn't feel tight, thankfully. But anyway, I'm just gonna kind of put this like close to my hairline, I guess. And kind of put it around there in the back. So I'm gonna just scoot it around the front. So you see how my little buns still stick out. So braids, I think, will lay flatter than this. But for right now, I'm just kind of showing. And um, that gel kind of did leave some flakes in my hair. So I'm going to... That's the only thing about Eco. It's like when you use a lot to slick down your edges, you can get um, some flaking. Okay, so let me find the front part again. Okay, so this is the front, and it's got like short pieces in the front. So let's see what we're working with here. I'm going to use the comb, because I really don't know what I'm doing. So I'm going to use this comb here. Um, later on, I guess when I get better at this, I'll try and use bobby pins. Okay, so that's it in the front. I don't even know if that's in there right good. Okay. And then I still have to secure it in the back. So I went ahead and used the comb in the back too. Look at that. Look at all that hair. <laughs> so this is it before I've done anything. Um, so obviously you can use perm rods or something like that and get your hair curly, which is probably something I'll try when I'm ready to really wear it out. But for now, I have really just been like messing around with it. So one thing I kind of figured out, um, I can kind of just pull my hair back like this with it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this piece over here. and just kind of pull my hair up over. You see where that little weft, I guess it's called, that little piece there. I'm gonna kind of pull it up over that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side and just pull my hair up over. So what I like about the hair gel is it does give your hair kind of like a shine and I feel like it helps your hair to blend in a little bit. I'm kind of holding this in place. I'm just gonna use like a regular bobby pin. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm taking, like this is the middle, my bang, and I'm gonna take the two side pieces and just like pinch all this hair in a little group together. And then I kind of figured out if you take like a little bit of the hair from the unit from Tisha. Thank you, Tisha. And see, this is how it gets frizzy because some of these get a little bit tangled. So see, I took a little bit of hair from the unit and a little bit of my hair. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And what I noticed is when I go to pin this, this curly hair actually overlaps on top of my straight ends from me slicking my hair down and then it like camouflages it. So you see how I've got some of my hair, some of the half wig hair, and I'm just gonna kind of pull it all up here in the front together and pinch it like here. And then I kind of just turn it inwards like this. You see, and I'm pinching it and I'm going to kind of take the bobby pin and insert it here and flip it 
and just pin it so that it's secure. So I'm trying to push that pin down in there. Okay, so you see how you just see the curly pieces when you do that? So there you go, that's my hair on the outside. So you see my edges. And then I've got this kind of pinned across there. And then the curls just come right over top of that. And you can't even see my hair, it's in there. I mean, it's so easy to blend that out. So this is the length. Look at how long it is. To me, this is long, okay? Because if you stretch these curls out, you know, it goes to like here and they spring back up. So this is like the side and the back. So it's definitely big hair, but it does, instead of it like going really round like some of the other curly wigs I looked at, this one does come down a little bit more. It really has a lot of movement and it's really soft. I like how soft it is because that's one thing I was concerned about it, like it being on my neck right here and it doesn't feel itchy. So I like that about it. But yeah, I just, I thought I was gonna have to do all this braiding and curling and all this stuff to um, blend my hair in with it. But that was so quick. It's like I just parted my hair and then I pinned it up. And you can see, you can't really see um, where the wig meets. You can throw some more pins in there. You can pull this hair out a little bit more to make it like a little hump there. I also tried it with this little barrette, like a clip. So I guess what I'm gonna do is just kind of pull my hair backwards a little bit more over. So I kind of want to do a half up, half down look doing this. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of like me doing like a ponytail. So I'm gonna kind of pull my hair back, straight back on either side. So you see how I'm doing that. And then just slide this clip in there. Okay, and then you just kind of pull some of the hair downward. And then it's like a half up, half down. Look. Just kind of get it all into place the way you want. And that's how this looks. This look right here, I think is the way I'm probably gonna wear it out the first time I do wear it out. I haven't worn it out yet. But like I said, I wanted to thin it out a little bit. But um, look at the curl on this though. The curls are nothing like the package said. This is what it looks like on the pack, the picture, and it doesn't look anything like that. It's very, very curly. It's a very like loose curl. There's like little spirals and S's. I think it's very pretty. It has a lot of movement. It's very soft and airy. It's light. It doesn't feel heavy. I think I like that about it. It's very light and flowy feel. I purchased this locally at a privately owned beauty supply because I heard that the curly ones are gonna give you more tangles and frizz faster than like a straight one would. So I went ahead and invested in this. This was only like $3 at the most, I think. Let me know what you think. If you have Tisha, let me know what you do, what some of your tricks are. Um, and if you have any tips or tricks for me, I'm starting out, so I'm definitely open to suggestions. Let me know. And that's it for now. I'll see you next time. Bye.